Hey broskies, it's Sona, and today I'll be drawing characters from the amazing digital circus if they were human. I finally watched the animated pilot and I loved all the characters, and I especially think this concept would be interesting as all the characters have human forms outside of the digital world that we haven't seen yet. So I'm gonna draw how I see them in my brain. Let's go! First character I'll be training human is Pomni. Pomni arrives in the amazing digital circus after putting on a headset, having no memory of who she is in the real world. She is met with several other characters who have also been trapped in the circus for years, as well as the host, Kane, who is a pair of talking dentures. Kane explains she is now in the digital circus, which is a really wacky place full of mysteries and adventure, and no one can leave the digital world as there is no exit. Since her memories are lost, Kane gives her a new name, Pomni, and from there on out, she is forced to deal with her new crazy and confusing surroundings, kind of makes friends, and frantically tries to figure out how to leave and is slowly losing her mind. The creators did an amazing job with this pilot, from the concept to the expressive animation and unique characters. If you haven't watched the amazing digital circus, Circus, you totally should. It's pretty cool. I love Pomni, she is such a cute character and her design is honestly one of the best I've seen. Because there's games and shows where they make the main character extremely boring. <coughs> sort of online. But Pomni is definitely a protagonist that sticks out from the rest. I love how fidgety and on edge she is all the time, and her voice actor did a great job. For this video, I'm basing Pomni's human design not only on her physical appearance, but also designing her how I imagine her to look in the real world. Which also goes for all the other characters in this video. According to the wiki, Pomni is 25 years old. Wow. I was not expecting that. As I was drawing this, I low-key forgot how old she's supposed to be, but hey, I still wanted her to resemble her original stature since it's such a big part of her design, so it works. The main thing I thought of before drawing this was how Pomni put on a weird headset. I knew a headset could mean many things, but I instantly thought of video games, and Pomni seems pretty nerdy, so to me it makes sense that she'd be a gamer in real life. Who knows, maybe she bought a shady looking VR headset off of Wish that secretly had a mind of its own. Just a thought. I imagine Pomni to be a nerdy, broke college student who likes playing games on her free time. Her being a nerdy college student also makes sense because she's so stressed and timid all the time, and maybe even shy in real life. I replaced her jester hat with a yellow beanie hat, while keeping her hair mostly the same but a bit more fluffed out and stylized. One of my favorite things about Pomni's design is her eyes. The spin wheel effect is so cool. In the original, her eyes are red and blue on both sides, so in mine, I gave her heterochromia, which is when someone is born with two different colored eyes. The right is blue and the left is brown because I do not know any humans with red eyes, but if you do, then let me know in the comments. I thought Freckles would look really cute on Pomni along with her rosy cheeks, and she's in this socially awkward stance fidgeting with her hands, and you can notice a sense of anxiousness in her face while she tries her best to smile. Her clothes were a bit challenging as the original is just a jester costume, but the colors do work well together since they're primary colors. Her t-shirt is striped with yellow, red, blue, and white, with a white collar underneath as well as yellow buttons going down to represent the pom-poms on her jester outfit. Since I imagined Pomni as a gamer, I gave her a bag that she takes to college decorated with video game pins. Below is a pair of blue shorts, white socks, and brown shoes. I gave her a blue hairpin as well as glasses, since I think they suit her and add to her cuteness. Last but not least, I ended up adding a pom-pom on her hat to resemble her jester one. Here is Pomni as a human. I think she turned out cute and let me know your thoughts below. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is an awesome VPN service that protects your info and secures your data. Not only does Surfshark protect your identity and data, but with Surfshark you can browse the internet freely without getting tracked. Want to watch a YouTube video but then it hits you with a blocked in your country? Well no worries cause Surfshark's VPN has got you covered. Watch to your heart's content without anything being blocked. That's epic. And some websites are super sneaky. Trust me, I know. I've been hacked before and it sucked. And it was really scary. That's why having a VPN is important and protects all your important info. So there's no need to worry when you've got Surfshark. Also, have you ever gotten any annoying cookie pop-ups whenever you're visiting a website? Well, Surfshark can eat those cookies. Well, not really eat. But they can make it so that you don't see those annoying pop-ups anymore. Cool. Also get an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal by entering the promo code DRAWS and get up to six whole additional months for free using the link below. Click the link in the description to get started with Surfshark today and thanks so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Next up is Jax. Jax is a tritagonist in the Amazing Digital Circus alongside Ragatha. He's really mischievous and enjoys messing with people and overall has a lack of remorse and empathy for others. Jax is pretty laid back and just does whatever he wants, seeming to be unfazed by everything, being there for so long. He's also the youngest one in the circus, being 22 years old, which is funny considering he calls Pomni a kid despite being younger. Jax and Ragatha are the first people that Pomni pairs up with, going to check on Kofmo, but once they find out he has abstracted, oh god what the hell is that? Jax just books it, leaving the other two behind, making it appear as though Jax only cares for himself and no concern for others. But I can't really blame him for the way he is, he's gotta keep his sanity somehow. Unlike Kofmo. Despite being not a very pleasant person to hang out with, Jax still appears the most 
most sane out of everyone, in my opinion. But Jax's carefree vibes he puts out and how desensitized he is leads a lot of people in the fandom to think that he's like that way as a coping mechanism. And that's possible. But he also could have just been an a-hole from the very beginning. Maybe one day we'll know. I consider his design the most simple in the entire show. A tall, thin rabbit with pink overalls, yellow eyes and teeth. Also, I'm like 99.9.9999999999% sure he's inspired by those old stretchy rubber toys. If you're super young, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, just like with Pomni, for my design, I'm going to go with the idea that he put on a gamer headset to get into the digital world. One last thing I will mention is that the creators of the Amazing Digital Circus confirmed it is inspired by a story called I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, which is a post-apocalyptic story where a crazy AI computer tortures the last humans on Earth for its own amusement by trapping them in a digital world. So that's fun. So considering it's inspired by this story, it's possible the headset they put on to get into the Amazing Digital Circus is more than just a gamer headset or a VR headset. Maybe it's something much more dangerous. But in my version, I'm still making them gamers. When I thought of Jax as a human, a gamer fits him pretty well considering his carefree personality. In the circus, he said he didn't mind doing whatever as long as it entertained him. So I could totally see him being this chill dude at home just playing games all day to cure his boredom. I gave him purple scruffy hair along with a pair of pink headphones topped with bunny ears. I still really wanted to keep the bunny ears, okay? Of course, he's got that smug facial expression. I know humans don't normally have yellow eyes, but his eyes and teeth being yellow is one of the main features of his original design, so I wanted to include it somehow. I also added freckles to make him look more nerdy. He has a color block style hoodie, along with the two circles on the drawstring representing the original buttons he had on his overalls. Below, he has pink baggy sweatpants. I ended up adding straps to those because I still wanted to include his overalls somehow. Because he's lazy and stays at home, instead of shoes, he's wearing purple bunny slippers with socks. Overall, I wanted his clothes to look like he just doesn't care. The lazy gamer type. It was kind of hard to balance out the casual look I wanted along with his wacky color palette, but I tried my best. The creator also confirmed that no one in the circus likes Jax. <laughs> so what's the probability that he doesn't have friends in real life either? I mean, it's kind of hard to have friends when you treat everyone like doo-doo. Because I imagine him as a lone gamer with no friends, I thought, hey, what if he's a streamer? Okay, hear me out, okay? It would give him something to do. Jax is an a-hole, so I could totally see him like going on Fortnite to bully kids on stream. This would also make his outfit make more sense because streamers often have a persona of themselves, so his online persona would literally be Jax. Last but not least, he's wearing yellow fingerless gloves and holding a bag of potato chips. He was hungry. Here is my human version of Jax. I think he looks really cool. Leave a like if you agree. Last but not least is Ragatha. Ragatha is the second tritagonist in the Amazing Digital Circus, and out of everyone, her personality is my favorite. She's kind, optimistic, and even when Pomni joined, she immediately tried to comfort her, telling her that everything would be okay and told everyone not to be mean. Unlike Jax. Even after Pomni ran and left Ragatha behind with Kofmo, who I honestly thought was going to kill her in the first episode, Ragatha told Pomni it was okay. She was disappointed, but overall a forgiving person. And I think being forgiving is one of the best qualities someone can have. Ragatha tries to see the best in everything thrown at her, despite how long she's been there and how chaotic it is. Well, I mean, she kinda has to, or else she'll go insane. But she's a great character, and I think she'll be a great helper in the future of the show, as well as being a great friend to Pomni. Now, I actually almost didn't choose Ragatha, because out of everyone, she looks the most human already. I almost drew Zubal. God, that would've been hell. But I realized there's plenty I can do with Ragatha's design. First reason being, apparently Ragatha is 30, the second oldest in the circus next to Kinger. Paired with her more mature and positive personality, it gave me some ideas. When I think of Ragatha as a human, I imagine a woman who's probably more on the countryside, and since she loves helping people, her occupation is taking torn up old dolls and fixing them herself. I thought this was a good way to incorporate the doll factor. I also feel Ragatha would be great with kids, since Pomni acts a little crazy, but she does a good job at comforting her. Her original hair seems to be made of yarn, so in her human version, I gave her short curly hair that's styled in drills. I love twin drill hair. Kind of reminds me of Kasane Taito. Of course, I still included the ribbon on top of her head, but instead of just attached to her head, the ribbon is wrapped around from underneath. Her cheeks are rosy with freckles, and yes, I know I've given everyone in this video freckles. I love them, okay? Freckle supremacy. As you can see, she is holding a doll with a sewing needle in this cute ditzy pose. And yes, Ragatha would 100% be a cat lady, so I gave her a cat. The cat will destroy every centipede that comes her way. The wiki says that Kane and Ragatha are the only confirmed characters with heterochromia, but technically, she only has one eye. The other is simply a button. So how is that heterochromia? Anyway, 
Anyways, she does have heterochromia in human form. The left eye is blue like her button, and the right is brown. She's wearing a collared, cropped, red plaid shirt. Plaid. I meant to say plaid. I said plaid for most of my life. I'm learning not to pronounce it that way anymore, okay? Her shirt also has ruffles at the end, along with a lace trim on the sleeves. Below that is paired with high-waisted flare-out jeans, also trimmed with a lace at the end. I still wanted to include the patches on her original dress, so she's got those on her jeans too. I added some tiny red ribbons on the sides of her jeans, and her shoes are black heels. I just feel like Ragatha would be really stylish and have a great fashion sense. I mean, dolls dress up a lot, so it suits her. Last but not least, I gave her pearl earrings as well as a pearl bracelet and frilly white gloves. Oh yeah, as for the headset part, I'm not sure how much of a gamer she would be, but maybe she does like games, or it's possible she has a kid who gave her the weird headset, who knows. Anyways, here she is, human Ragatha. I love her. Thanks broski so much for watching, this was me turning the amazing digital circus characters human. I had so much fun with this video. Which was your favorite I drew? Mine is Ragatha. Leave a like if you want part 2, and maybe I'll do the other characters. Okay, bye!